Hi, my name is Luke Marson, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the time off functionality for HR administrators in SuccessFactors Employee Central. Now, I'm logged in as the HR administrator, and I want to check the time account for a particular employee, Darlene Sharp. So, on the front screen, I'm going to search for Darlene. She comes up in the autocomplete. So, I'm going to look at a business card, click Take Action, and click Manage Time Off to go to a uh, time off overview. So here the, the screen is split into three different portlets. So in the first one we can see details of the time account she has. We can then see the different requests that she's made. And then we can see details for each of the time accounts. So first we can see she has two time accounts. She has a sickness and a vacation. Now she's not only taking any time off for the sickness uh, account, but the vacation account from the 25 days that she's earned, she's already taken off 15 and has one planned. In the time for overview portal, I can see that uh, the one day is coming up in November, and she's taken five days in August and 10 days in June. Now, as the administrator, I can edit or cancel these requests, or I can actually make new requests. This might be useful for employees that don't have regular access to a computer or for new employees who have not yet joined the company and so don't have system access but already had time off scheduled before they joined the organization. Now if I scroll down to time account details, we can see the details for each account. So here for the sickness account, we can see that there are 10 days assigned at the start of the year but there's no other details for that account. If I select the drop down and go to vacation, we can see more details. So we can see the 25 days that were added at the start of the year, and then we can see all of the other days that have been taken. Now, Darlene joined in the last year, but she joined towards the end of the year, and she didn't get the opportunity to use a vacation. So as per company policy, that can be carried over. But because she joined so late in the year, that the details weren't set up for her in the system. So I actually need to make a manual adjustment and add those days to her account. So I'm going to click the Make Adjustment button. And then I'm going to put a posting. I'm going to change the date to the 1st of January. And I'm going to add the two days that she would have accrued in January. I'm just going to leave a comment. Correction for days. From 2012. And I'm going to click Save. And we can now see that though that manual adjustment has been made and those days have been added. And that concludes my demo of the time of functionality for HR administrators in SuccessFactors Employee Central.